For the latest on the UN Security Council's meeting in Ethiopia, I'm joined by VOA UN correspondent Margaret Bishia. Hello, Margaret. What Good are afternoon, you, Esther. What are you learning about this behind closed door meeting uh, by the UN Security Council in Ethiopia? So this meeting was called by the African members of the Council, Gabon, Ghana, Kenya. Uh, they've been in there for about two hours, but it looks like it's just breaking up now. I see some diplomats coming out. Uh, the Ethiopian ambassador was part of this meeting. He was allowed to be there with them to represent his government. Um, on Monday, you know, Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed uh, deep concern about the situation. He says it's spiraling out of control. There's great concern for civilians who are caught in these clashes, this joint Ethiopian-Eritrean offensive in Tigray. Uh, that's, you know, they seem to be making some gains in the area against the Tigrayan forces. Uh, Olasanjo, uh, Obasanjo was uh, briefing the Security Council here in New York as well by video. He did the AU Peace and Security Council, as you mentioned a little earlier, and he gave the briefing to the diplomats here. They hope to get those talks started on Monday um, in uh, South Africa. And uh, But with the Tigrayans on the back foot and the Ethiopians going strong, there's some worry among diplomats that maybe Monday won't happen. So we're just going to have to wait and see. And. Uh, we're hoping to hear possibly a statement from the Security Council here in New York supporting a ceasefire, a return to talks. Uh, all 15 members have to agree on it, so it's just uh, a little early to say whether that will happen today or not. Margaret, uh, the United Nations has really shed some you know, light on what's happening in Ethiopia. What seems to be the number one concern of the United Nations regarding Ethiopia right now? Oh, I think the protection of civilians, absolutely. We heard from the uh, special advisor on the prevention of genocide this week. She said that inflammatory uh, language, hate speech is being used in this conflict. You know, that's a marker of trouble. And uh, she's worried about uh, political groups, armed groups, the language they're using. Uh, there's blogs calling for genocide against the Tigrayan people. So uh, they're very alarmed about the direction that this conflict is going in.